Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survive channel. So a while back, uh, Ben over at Texas Tool Grub had almost these exact same tools, except for the Leatherman, <laughs> on his workbench, and he basically described his uh, perfect companion knife. And so there's certain uh, parts from each of these tools that he wants to combine, uh, and then he wants that to basically uh, be the companion tool for his Leatherman. And so if you haven't seen his video, be sure to go, watch, go back and watch that. Um, I'll include a link to that. And uh, he kind of explains what he wants, why he wants it. And so if you're interested, check that out. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll kind of go back over the things he mentioned, uh, what he wanted. That way you know what we're going to be doing. All right, so first of all, uh, he wants the scissors and he wants them in an 84 millimeter frame. Now, the issue with that is actually something he brought up on his channel and mentioned is that uh, there are not any scissors for the 84 millimeter, uh, basically, range. And that's because for whatever reason, Big Tone Rocks uh, stopped making them. And so what we're gonna be doing for the scissors is we'll be using an 85 millimeter. And these basically have the winger style scissors. And so these we can modify to fit into the 84 millimeter. Um, and something he mentioned was that the scissors on the, on the Big Tone Rocks, uh, the springs on the Big Tone Rocks scissors, some people complain that they're flimsy. Uh, I also have never had any trouble with them. But with the winger scissors, you'll notice that actually it has a frame spring. And so slightly different system, it should be a little more durable. Another interesting thing is that the scissors are actually, uh, they have like small grooves. I don't know if you can see that very well in the video or not. It's just slightly different, but also really sharp and they hold up really well. So we'll be using that to get the scissors that he requested. Uh, another thing that he asked for uh, is he wants the, the reamer. And so on this cadet, we're gonna be removing the nail file and replacing that with the reamer. And so I have a loose one of those for my toolbox. So we'll be using that for the reamer and keeping the original blade. And then the can and the bottle openers, he wants to replace these with the electrician blade and the pruner blade. All right, so electrician blade from the electrician and the pruner, pruner from the Swiss Army too. So the issue with these two knives is that they're kind of like gloves and these are both right-handed gloves. And so they do not, they would not uh, work together in the same frame or in the same line, on the same spring, I'm sorry. And so the way to solve that issue is we're gonna be using this layer right here from a uh, Victorinox XLT. It's a 91 millimeter frame. And so if you notice, I've, I placed these side by side like this, you can see how they point in opposite directions. And so it's basically, it's kind of like back to my uh, example, it's like a right and a left-handed glove which means that side by side, these will be very friendly next to each other and they shouldn't rub or cause any trouble. So we'll be using those to get these two parts. And that's basically all. Uh, he just wants the three layers. He wants the original blade. He wants the reamer. Then he wants the scissors, which we'll be getting from the uh, 85 millimeter Evo. And then replacing the can bottle opener with the electrician and printer blade. All right. And so to do this, we're going to do uh, some modifications and stuff. And so we'll probably be using some of the springs. Uh, this is a Victorinox recruit. And so we'll be stealing some of the springs from here uh, for this build. So anyways, let's go ahead and we'll dive into it.
All right, so we've disassembled all the parts that we're going to be needing. And I've done a bit of experimenting already off camera. So I know that this spring from the can bottle opener will not work with these two blades. So we're going to use the exact same spring as we have up here with the original uh, base of the blade there, there with the awl, should I say reamer actually. And we use again the exact same spring also as up here for the scissors. And we're gonna need one more liner. All right, so that's me the setup, although actually I need to move these around about like this because in my experiments, I noticed that the, the nail nick here on the scissors end up being a little bit low. All right, so now that's gonna be our setup. Basically we'll have the uh, electrician and the printer blade in the middle, the scissor in the end and the, uh, yeah, the blade up there. And actually these will also be backwards. It'll be like this. Yeah. All right, so now that we definitely have <laughs> the tool set all, all set out the way we want it. We will be using some more um, spacers, but we'll get into that as we as we go, so we get some more spacers for this. We'll probably be needing some uh, brass washers uh, to make up just a small bit of space here on these tools. But anyways, what we're gonna do next is we'll go ahead, like I like to do, we'll start with the, the tool at the top, we'll start modifying that, because, and let's see, I have it right here. All right, so I did already a little bit experimenting, as you can see, this is an 84 millimeter, and that reamer just barely doesn't close down all the way. And so what we'll do instead of actually modifying the reamer itself, we're gonna take the spring and if I can get it up, there we go. We're gonna take off just a bit of this corner right there. That way the reamer, it'll close down uh, to the height that we want. All right, so we'll take this outside and we'll kind of do some grinding to that and then we'll come back to continue on with these rest of these mods. All right, so I didn't record the process because it's something really basic here. You can see, just took this slight corner down, if I compare it to one of these. I can see here down below it's square, up top I just slightly rounded that. And that'll be enough to make sure that um, that all will be able to close down. All right, so that we finished that. What we're going to do is, we're not going to need this here, it's going to be too large, we'll use that for the scissors. And we will be using one of these washers, there we go, over here. And then the same thing, the same type of washers we'll be using for both of these. All right, so with this um, particular build, we're not going to be doing anything to the pivot bores. And so let's go ahead and we'll begin assembly, and from there we'll probably make some modifications as we go. So this takes 2.2 millimeter brass.
Now what I need to do is take this outside. We'll cut these down to the needed uh, length and then just pin it shut. All right, so I also cut these off off camera because it's just really difficult to cut these without nicking the scales when you have the camera right in front of your face. So as you can see, I just left, I mean, not even, a, maybe a millimeter, so just a little bit. And what we're gonna do to protect these scales, let's we'll take some masking tape on them. So I usually do two on the, the front side that I will not be painting. Like that, just make sure it's nice and safe, doesn't get scratched in the process. And I'll put just one layer of tape on this side. All right, so basically just like that. Now we can take this outside and paint this shut. All right, so finish up with the, the painting work. And so maybe get this to focus a bit closer for us. See how that turned out. It's definitely, it's not like the factory, but not too bad for being painted by hand. All right, and so I've already, as you can see, I put on the keychain ring and I've already put a drop of oil on all the, the pivots here. So let's go ahead and go through one more time. And I'll show you the action of the tools. As you see that it's still nice and snappy. All right, so that is basically everything. And so we was able to put together the basically a dream knife, companion knife that Ben wanted. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll ship this to him and we'll see what he thinks and his reaction. And I'll go ahead and I'll link um, his video in the description of this video. So you guys can go over to his channel and watch and see what he thinks about this. It's kind of his review of it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe.